What's up guys, welcome back to Halfman Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So watchOS 8 has been out for quite some time. All you need to be able to get it is a series 3 and newer and I've been using it on my main watch device. This is my Apple Watch Series 6 that I wear every day and in this video I'm going to be showing you some of the hidden new features as well as some of the hidden settings that I've managed to find during my time of usage. Now, the first new feature that I would like to show you, it's a new watch selector that came with watchOS 8 and you can see how you access it. And you see when you go to the new uh, watch face selector, you notice that it has been like revamped. Apple didn't show off this feature. So as you can see here, it shows you that we have a new wartime watch face and a portrait watch face now this one that you are seeing here is actually the world time watch face and it has about 24 time zones and i would like to show you some of the hidden things that are in this watch face and the first thing that i would like to show you is that this watch face actually shows you what 24 time zones and also it shows you which region is in the day and which region is in the night so as you can see the night portion of the watch face is depicted by this dark portion that you are seeing here so this whole like right portion of my apple watch is in the night and then the lighter portion that you are seeing here on the left hand side is during the day and as the sun moves uh, uh, or as the day goes by you will notice that this is going to like rotate and um, it's not always going to be the same and every time you lower your risk like this and you raise it up you exactly know which cities or time zones are in the day and which ones are in the night and also on this watch face if you tap it like this it will show you which region or location you are in if you want to know which time zone corresponds response to your local time you can see that there's a small arrow on the apple watch as you can see there by 4 or 4 p.m by 16 there you see a small arrow so depending on your time zone you actually be able to see the small arrow that will show you your time zone if you don't actually see your local city don't worry as this watch face is basically showing the most popular or prominent time zones so for example if you are like in edmonton well there's a city that depicts the edmonton time which is bigger and more popular you can see new york and for me who's in vancouver you can see that we don't have vancouver here but we have a more popular a city that is in the same uh time zone as vancouver which is los angeles so they will put the biggest and most popular cities to represent time zones and if you are like in south africa or cape town uh, or zimbabwe you will see that the time that's representing zimbabwe you have paris and you also have cairo in egypt since those are more popular also another watch face that came with watch os 8 is this portrait watch face now when you lower your wrist like this and you raise it up again you can see that there isn't much to tell it's not like it it has animations it almost looks like it's a photos watch face but there are some hidden features and the first one that i would like to bring your attention to is that this is actually depth sensitive so you can see that the subject is in the forefront and the time is in the background so if you actually rotate your uh, crown like this you can see that it zooms in and zooms out so this is something that you can always check out and all these watch faces are available there are some that i'm going to be showing you that are will be available for like newer apple series but for this video those are some of the hidden features that came with these new watch faces that we got now with watch os 8 also we got some advanced accessibility features when it comes to watch os 8 and you can see here if you go into your accessibility section on your apple watch and you go to assistive touch and enable this assistive touch and you can see you get like a small border that tells you that you have enabled assistive touch and if you double clench like this you notice that you can uh, have some options you can shake your wrist to activate more features or scroll up and down 
and also like if you double clench like this you get more option you can press the crown and if you receive a call let's say you are uh, you want to be hands-free and you don't want to use an electronic device so i'm going to go ahead and call myself using my android device that you are seeing here and we're going to see how i'm going to be able to answer this call so as you can see right there it's telling me if i want to answer double clench and basically if i double clench like this you can see that the call has been answered that is how you do it and apple made a video explaining this new accessibility feature and this is how it works in brief so i'm going to put up the video shortly just to show you how it works and let apple explain it better Designed for individuals with limb differences, assistive touch is controlled through gestures, like clenching and pinching. For example, to stop a timer, double clench to activate assistive touch. Pinch your index finger and thumb to move focus to the stop button, then clench to confirm. In some applications, you can also use these gestures to perform quick actions. For example, to answer a call, you can double clench to immediately pick up. There are also additional controls for more complex navigation, like ending a workout, double clench to bring up the action menu, pinch to move focus to the motion pointer, and clench to confirm. Now you can move your arm to hover the pointer over the edge to scroll the page. Then hover over the end button to stop the workout. The motion pointer can also be activated by simply shaking your hand. So that's assistive touch. With this new feature, we're able to open the doors to Apple Watch for even more people in a way that hasn't been possible before. By the way, if it's your first time finding or watching one of Huffman Half Tech videos, here at Huffman Half Tech, I do cover a wide range of Apple content like Apple Watch tips and tricks, watchOS software updates, and so on. So if you want to stay up to date with such information, then a sub to the channel would be appreciated. Now, also with watchOS 8, there have been quick menu changes when it comes to how you can view your application list so if you want you can quickly hold whether you are in grid view and list view and you'll be able to switch between the modes without having to go into the settings so that's very easy and if you want to actually edit the settings you can see that you have the option to actually edit the settings or the applications rather right there from the menu instead of having to go into the settings unlike what it was before so quick switch that is amazing and also with watch os 8 you now get focus that has been brought over so do not disturb has been um, upgraded to focus and this always mirrors your iphone so if i turn on for example recording focus i can say for one hour and on my iphone it's going to actually show the same focus mode and you can see that we have recording on you saw the notification right there but if you don't want this to be mirrored or if you don't want the focus on your apple watch to be exactly the same as your uh iphone or apple watch you can go into the settings and go to focus and if you go all the way down there's a setting that you can turn on or off and you see if you turn it off it says turning on a focus for iphone will not affect your apple watch and neither will turning on a focus for apple watch affect your iphone so that is how you do it it's very convenient setting that you can actually be able to change out now there's also another change that or setting that i want to show you if you go on your iphone and actually go in youtube and play any specific video you can see the one that i'm playing here from aaron from zolotech very amazing tip youtuber right there but if you don't like this screen that shows up every time you get media playing on your device there's actually a way you can change it and switch it off and the setting has been relocated when it comes to watch os 8 so the way you do it on your device just go into the settings and then go to where it says display and brightness now i know this has been changed because before you had to go to general but this time around if you go into display and brightness you actually be able to see this 
section that says auto launch audio app so if you turn that off and then you go back on your iphone and play any content you notice that the screen won't like protrude or interrogate your main screen on the apple watch and you can do other things some workouts will be able to automatically detect when a workout has begun even though you haven't like initially started the workout so if you like just pick up a random bike and start cycling you get a notification on your apple watch that tells you do you want to begin the cycling workout even in more workouts you now get automatic fall detection if your watch senses that perhaps you've fallen harshly so go into your settings and then go to sos and make sure that fall detection is enabled so make sure that fall detection is on and it's only always on and not just during workouts so that is how you do it and it's it goes a long way to make sure you are safe and secure with your apple watch when it comes to health on the apple watch there's now more things that you can measure and the first one that i would like to bring your attention to is the respiratory rate so this is now the apple watch on watch os 8 can measure your respiratory rate when you are sleeping so all you have to do is go into the health app on the iphone and go to browse and go to respiratory rate and you'll be able to see your data and also on the apple watch on watch os 8 it can actually detect your walking steadiness and it will be able to send you a notification when uh, you are most likely to fall so all you have to do is go to the browse section in your health app on the iphone and go to mobility and if it's your first time seeing or setting up these screens you get prompts to set them up and initiate them but for me you can see my data since i've already set up those settings so those are some of the settings that you get in the health app and also there's a new change that came to watch os 8 when it has to do with the control center so you can see the new control center we have it's sort of been refreshed nothing major just minor but you also get this audio headphone level if you are listening to like something on your iphone or you have airpods or earphones in it will be able to show you the decibel levels and you can also change the volume up and down and if your levels go up goes above or exceeds 90 dbs it will send you a notification that listening to such uh, levels at a prolonged period of time can affect your health so that is something good when it comes to health also when you go into your messages right you can see that there's a new splash screen you get when you want to search for gifts so you see here that it says messages can show you suggestions for animated gifts to share based on what's popular and the contents of your messages so now in messages we can send gifts which wasn't available before if you want to send a gift you have to go into the message and then you have to type or click here and you notice the red search icon there if you click on it there it will load the most popular gifts that people are using you can scroll up and down and see a wide variety of gifts that people are sending if you want to search for your own like car let's search for car and see and done you can see that it searches for like popular gifts that people are using when it comes to car and so on but that is something that's good let's try and send this one uh, for vegeta in dragon ball z and see how it goes but it's good to see that on watch os 8 in messages you can actually send gifts unlike how it was before on watch os 7 now the last thing that i want to show you has to do with some new watch faces that won't be available to the apple watch series 6 and older and one of those has to do with the dynamic contour watch face this is something that apple showed off when they were talking about the apple watch series 7 but if you'd like to get you or yourself some of these pictures and set custom watch faces using the photos watch face i'll be happy to leave my previous video that i did that i'll show you how you can set some of these watch faces if you want to see where the edge of your apple watch is and so on so that's about it for me guys when it comes to the apple watch series 7 we have some news that just came out that the pre-order date is actually going to be 
on October 8th. So you can see that October 8th is next week, Friday. So pre-orders begin October 8th and most probably the first deliveries are going to take place on the 14th or 15th of October. So we know that these ones are going to be like in short supply so make sure you have your cash ready and when the time officially comes to pre-order you can always get it since they are in short supply now that's about it for me when it comes to uh, some hidden features and hidden settings when it comes to watch os 8 if you like this video please leave a like and as always stay safe and don't forget to subscribe and i'll definitely see you in the next video very soon